So this is a piece of marble from Nevada. We're gonna crack into it, and if it was any bigger, I'd have to use a forklift. I, I think we've, I've carved probably 120 different kinds of stone, and each one is different. Each one I treat differently. When you start with a, a rough block, you, you don't want to discover a flaw later when you're in the finish stage. You want to discover it first, and so you can uh, sound the block out by banging on it. There's a good ring. Texas limestone. There's a pretty good ring. In second grade science class, the teacher had us make Mobius strips with a strip of paper and fold it back on itself with one twist and then follow that edge around and it was a continuous edge and the surface was a continuous surface. And uh, not only me, but everybody else in the class were just enthralled by the whole concept. The continuous edge and the continuous surface has been with me <laughs> since the second grade. And when I work on pieces like this that I've cored through, on the outside edge, um, I'm always trying to keep part of what that particular block, the outside edge has done. So if you can see here, this was, this was a straight part. So I kept that. And then it goes down and around and comes through and comes to a point here because this was a point on the block. And then it does a little loop. And then the block was flat on top and it comes sort of flat and then does, you know, the T. Barney loop to loop right through again. Different blocks have more white in them. Different blocks are clear translucent. Um, they call it honeycomb calcite because it, it looks a lot of times the grain has a honeycomb pattern to it. Italian alabaster. This is um, called ice. Sometimes it has this um, blue ice in it. When you turn it, it, it helps people realize that, oh, wait, that has a Mobius edge on it. The Mobius strip, something that physicists have used to envision or model the galaxy that's infinite but finite. And that whole concept to me is just really, really cool.